hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video session and in this video we are going to talk about react typescript tailwind and everything about react components so recently in this playlist i'm covering all different kind of apps we can build in a single video uh, covering react react typescript test cases and including the tailwind in the react typescript setup okay we have already uh, created a line app and couple of apps on the same playlist i'm going to build a uh, few more apps so that end to end you will un get understanding how to create component how to define the typings for the react typescript and in the further videos i'm also going to include react redux typescript react redux uh, toolkit with the typescript everything about it okay so this is the app we are going to build a simple app which has a questions and options and you are going to get your score okay I'm going to build it with a react typescript so first we'll talk about our tech stack it's going to be simple react we are going to add a typescript and in the typescript in the react particularly we are going to use context apis okay we don't need a routing and all these things we just need a simple components if you want to use you can use a tailwind components tailwind utilities to define the the layouts okay just like a box is there and then a couple of buttons are there okay and i'm going to use this open api to fetch the number of questions okay this we can use to showcase the the questions and the answers you can see this how it is working we have a questions category we don't need we just need a questions and the correct answers and incorrect answers okay with the help of this we can just showcase them on the ui and do the next next or skip and whenever you do the correct answer we should be able to add the credit for you here in the score okay so you can see that there are like couple of components we have here the questions scorecard component question card component right and then there is a root component which can be the main component where we are going to populate the context which contains okay which will provide you some methods okay update score reset score uh, add score or populate score all those all those kind of methods I'm not going to explain you how to how react redux how react context apis works let's get our hands dirty so we have already have a setup of react typescript with the tailwind we have done in the last video this is the tailwind config and this is our cracker config now in the create react app version 5 they already have a support for the tailwind but if you want if you are using the current version then you have to use the cracker config and the tailwind config where you can override your themes colors and all and we are going to start adding our components okay this is our simple app.js so first of all what we will do the inside app.js we know that we are going to use uh, the context here so this app.js we are going to build our components let's say i'm going to create my main page So I'm going to go a little fast because this we, these things we have already covered in a couple of examples like how context APIs works. You can take a look on my earlier sessions. So let's say I'm creating a main page here. Okay. And I'm going to use the providers. Right context providers. So I can say simply is uh, there we can create a JSX and inside this we can create our provider let's say I'm going to create a quiz provider like a Redux provider right so we can just import our component here inside the main and we can add some classes also and we are going to use a tailwind here so if you are familiar with some of the, the classes like height should be same as the screen at screen and I can also set the background which is light blue. We will check our tailwind config. So this, this light blue is already defined. Quiz provider inside this we can have our component main page. Okay, put a comma here. This is our component. This is just a simple JSX div. Okay, quiz provider. Now we need to also import the quiz provider here. And then we will start building the context the consumer and the subscriber consumer and the provider sorry and we can do the selective import
quiz provider from we are going to create a context folder so this is how i approach quiz score okay this is a kind of context we are going to create so first first of all we will try to talk about context how to populate the data inside it what all methods we are going to expose from the quiz provider so here inside src we will create before creating the component we will create context new folder and we will create and inside the context we can create a quiz score let's call it as a context.ts and same we can update here okay now inside this we have to export the the quiz provider now quiz provider will be here how to create the context simple is like uh, how first we have to import the create context from react so what we need to do is we need to do create context i think parallelly i also need to do npm install so that these warnings will go away i don't want to info update now so npm install so we are importing react and i am also going to use a huge state hook so i will import that and here because we are writing typescript so we need to define what our app context is going to have app context interface so in the context we will provide a couple of methods like what is a total score this is of type number now we are writing typescript so we have to define all the methods we are going to put in the context all the variables set total score because we also need to update the the score here we are just defining the type update score and here we need to check if the answer is correct so the parameter type is the boolean right so we are just defining the type for our context then reset score reset score is of type void which is which is going to just reset your score to zero or something okay and now we will create our quiz context Con const quiz context and we can use create context method All right and we have to initialize the create context with something let's say i'm doing null right but we have to define the type of the context which is app context interface All right so this is my context i'm ready with and then i can create a provider because context will give you provider and consumer either you import the context somewhere and then uh, get the provider or create your provider here only export const quiz provider okay and quiz provider it will take some props sorry and here we are going to play with the data okay what all different methods this uh, context will have like total score set total score update score reset score all those things we are going to define here and we can also use use state hook which will maintain our total score because we are not tracking okay which question is scored it's like every question is of five marks and at the end you will just get the total score that's it so it's like a very basic uh, quiz app we are building total score set total score and here we are using huge state and initialize this is because this is of type number you can also say that okay this is of type number okay this is a huge state and now we have couple of methods 
what what is the method set update score const update score and it is taking one boolean so we have to follow the same path it is taking okay is correct which is of type boolean now we need to check if is correct then only we can increase the score from whatever the total score we have right now set total score and how do we set state is what is the current state is like okay i have a total which is of type number and i will just increase with the five so total plus five so it is giving a warning expression expected set total score i'm not sure it will go away uh this is of type number and we are doing plus one okay this is correct and there is another method we have so this is the first method then we have const reset score right what it does is it is just doing a reset so it is saying set total score to set total score to zero right so update score reset score and we have set total score set total score is this total score we already have variable now we will expose all these things through the provider now what we can simply return a jsx which is nothing but the context provider so i'm saying is quiz context is context so this is my quiz context and i'm saying quiz context dot it should give us the provider why it is not uh, giving me the required thing null is not a single parameter type of interface so let's do it initialized with any in that case it will allow us to initialize it with null okay context dot provider okay we can just close this i think p is, is capital that's the wrong thing that is a mistake we are doing cannot find namespace what was the variable name we used we use quiz context quiz context dot provider and quiz context dot consumer okay and here we are saying is this is going to render all its children which can render so whatever the children we are going to have they can access this context okay props dot children and in this provider we are going to pass couple of values what those values will be so all these values we have like total score set total score because this is what context is exposing to the outside world set total score here we have update score and we have reset score so here is our context is ready i need to rename the file to tsx i mean uh, i was doing a stupid mistake uh, i do a lot of backend stuff so i remember putting the extension .ts instead of .tsx okay so here is our provider i am doing export default and the same provider same quiz context we are importing uh, i mean we are importing the quiz context provider you can see this quiz provider we are importing in the app dot index dot tsx quiz provider and why it is still complaining we can check in this quiz score context let's go to this path so i am inside uh it should be context and then inside context quiz score context 
okay there is double from and main page okay now we need to build our main page so main page we can create in our root folder this is main page dot tsx okay and we are going to write a lot of code inside this because this is our root component this will decide okay what all things are going to happen okay uh, now first of all we will create our interface because we are going to use iQuiz interface you can keep Q also caps okay that is fine so we have couple of attributes there I mean the category of uh, the quiz then we have a correct answer which is of type string and then there is a wrong answers which is of type array right you have already seen the contract we are getting from the API response this is of type string array and then we have a question which is of type string and then there is a type which is of type string so these are like couple of attributes we have one is another thing is a difficulty we can skip that so this is our interface uh, what we will do is we are not compiled under because it is leave it so <clears throat> we will start importing things here uh, first of all what the, what is the endpoint the endpoint is this right so we will put the endpoint const api url is this because we are going to make a call to this particular variable and then here we can define export default function main page this is a functional component we are writing and what do we have we are going to do a lot of things inside this if we talk about simple functional component this is done right and we are already doing export default we don't need to do anything now we already know what is the endpoint and we are going to make api calls and all couple of things here so here we are going to do a lot of things first of all quizzes so quizzes set quizzes because we are going to make a api call and we are going to fetch the data use state and what we are going to get we are going to get an array of quizzes so we already have i quiz this is an array and initialized with empty array this is how we define the types for our uh, hooks like use state use effect and all we can have another type is boolean which is okay if the you have fetched the data then is loaded loaded and is loaded so we should fix this is loaded and set is loaded this is huge state initialized with false okay and we are going to have a couple of more indicators we'll talk about them for now we can just what we can do is const fetch quiz okay this is the sync function we can create which we can call from the use effect hook right so here we will do is const response and we are going to do you are going to use this simple fetch fetch and we have api url <coughs> and const response equal to await response dot json we have to serialize it and then we can set the set quizzes if you see we are getting the data inside the results right so we can say response dot result this will set the data response dot results so here we got the set quizzes we can say set loaded also true here we can just set okay this is going to have only boolean 
we can also define the types okay and we are going to because these are like quiz right so we are going to show zeroth first question to the user so we can have a, some kind of indicator so we are going to have a two different kind of indicator one is to check if the quiz has been ended or what is the quiz indicator right both are false this is going to be of type number this is going to be of type boolean okay so we can say set quiz indicator is initialized to zero that means once we are loading the application i'm saying is start from the first question <coughs> and then you need to call the use effect hook for that so that this call can be triggered on the component mount dependency is empty we need to import the use effect hook onto the top so we got the use effect hook and here we can call fetch quiz that's it so here we are able to use the use effect hook to fetch all the quiz and this will be the data okay here we can see uh, we can wrap it inside a fragment first of all and then we can start adding things inside it so here I'm saying is if we are at the end of the quiz and what I need to show if we are at the end of the quiz I can just simply say an overlay uh, that component we have to uh, define I will just say span and of quiz I'm just trying to keep it simple there uh, later you can actually create a, some kind of a small page that when you are reaching to the end I'm going to display you the different screen okay <clears throat> if that is not the case then we are going to display something else and here the condition is uh, we can use the tailwind utilities class name and we can say okay I'm going to have a container which is margin auto so everything can be centralized MD horizontally uh, 16 let's say and px4 these are just uh, some tailwind utilities and here I will say is if we are loaded that means we got the data in that case I'm going to render my container otherwise I'm going to say is span loading because I think uh, we are still in the loading process there is a one warning we'll see that this is end of this view is loaded here we need to add something if it is loaded sorry for the typo div <clears throat> now it is resolved if the component is loaded I mean if the data has been fetched then we can we are going to use quiz container and in the quiz container we are going to pass some data let's say the data can be simple we are going to send the quizzes and quizzes we already have the uh, quizzes which is an array of the quiz questions and then set current quiz indicator if you wanted to change the quiz let's say you are clicking on to the next then what will happen you the indicator will change to the next value and then there is a current quiz indicator to tell our component on which particular index we are and then set set quiz to end there should be a method set end quiz these methods we are passing to the container so the container can decide when when somebody is clicking on to the next we will move to the next indicator next index and show the, the next quiz because we are passing this array we just need to access the second index third index fourth index to show the next set of questions so now we need to design our quiz container everything is fine here one more thing we have to do is 
once we are fetching uh, we need to populate things inside the the context let's do it uh, uh, i mean how to how to access the context here we have a simple we can use use context so we can access that using use context hook and pass your context name so what is our context name is quiz context so we will import quiz context from we are going to import this quiz context from context okay I mean once you pass this after this after this you can access the things which this context is exposing now we can say is reset I think there are a couple of things we can consume from this is reset score <coughs> okay and reset score we can call the reset score if there is a button right so reset score is a method which we can trigger whenever we are loading the questions for the first time okay whenever we are loading the fetch quiz so in that case we can say is reset quiz score that means we wanted to reset the score to zero set is loaded to false so whenever you reload the page we are actually resetting the state okay now we will go and design our container component so let's see where are we uh, currently we do have only context and one container created we container we have created and inside the container we are going to have all these components like index.tsx quiz card and the score card this is a quiz card and once we are done we will do a just finish this test after we are done with the 10 questions and then we, we will be able to see the scorecard component okay so index.tsx here we are going to import we are going to import a quiz card and scorecard both components let's say we are going to build those components in future import scorecard component from in the same folder we are going to create them scorecard and import quiz card component okay and we are going to use context this is the right place where we are going to do a lot of things related to context import use context from react and this is create context i mean create context we already done now here we are going to use the context so first of all the interface because this component if you see main page and we are talking about the container it is accepting these four argument as a props okay then obviously you need to define where these four props are coming from right and what is the type definitions for those props so i props because we are writing typescript and for that we have to define the types quizzes will be of type uh, some interface which we have defined i guess here this will be of type i quiz array we can also say i, I mean we can export this export interface i quiz and here we can say quizzes will be i quiz array and this we need to import quick fix done okay then we have set there are a couple of methods set and quiz let's uh, copy it from there what all those were and that we will define here <coughs> set and quiz this is a simple method what it is doing is it is just uh, taking is over as a boolean if set end is true 
then it is returning void this is just a type we are defining for this interface and then current quiz indicator is of type number so we will just say number and then there is another thing is set current quiz indicator this is a method all right it is just what it is doing it is just changing some value let's say we have some previous value of type number it should be of type number only because we are indicator changing the indicator from 1 to 2 to 3 and this is our props for this component now we will define our functional component here it will be export default function quiz container okay and this quiz container is receiving all these as a props which is of type I props right this is how we define the props for the functional component and it is going to have all these arguments quizzes set end quiz and then current current quiz indicator set current quiz indicator okay these all we are receiving as a props and this is our functional component okay and we are going to capture a couple of things from the context so we can use use context just provide your context name that is quiz context and it will get imported automatically and what we are going to do is set total score i think there is a total score is of type boolean sorry number total score we are getting from there it is not able to expose as the definition because we set the type any okay let's fix this what if i don't set the type any and i initialize this object to a uh, let's say remove this total score and here i set total score to zero set total score is of type void Uh, da, 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 da. okay what it will complete let's see total score number is missing from the properties this is the interface and we have to initialize this with some default values right so let's say total score and it will still complain because argument of not assignable to so set total score this is we are going to initialize it and we can simply say is is correct of type boolean this also let's say if you override this definition and then there is a reset score and that is also going to return us something like this okay is correct is of type boolean this is another bracket we need to have then there is arrow function okay now we set the the proper types for this so we should be able to see it here like when i was using total score yes I'm getting this so whatever you wanted to get you will be able to import this if we put the type any then okay the typing is lost kind of okay now here we are going to return a couple of things return two components which we have created we put the fragments and inside this we have a scorecard 
let's see one is a scorecard another is a quiz card component so inside a scorecard component again we have to pass the current quiz indicator why it is not populating all these variables current quiz indicator okay this one i'm talking we are still doing lot of uh, some some prop drilling which can be avoided i mean there are always uh, different ways of writing the same thing we have a total score and here we are just passing the total score value from the context to the quiz component and then show current quiz indicator that's it and quiz card here we are passing some indicator let's say one unique id we want is math dot random and then other attributes we are passing is quizzes all the array of quizzes and current quiz indicator so we are going to pass only those things which represents the current quiz and then there is a change quiz is the method which we are going to define here and then there is a current quiz <coughs> current quiz is uh, current quiz indicator okay so we have a change quiz means we wanted to move the forward move forward on the quiz const change quiz arrow function it's the same thing what we have to do now is okay we will always check the current quiz indicator if current quiz indicator is less than 9 okay we wanted to show only 9 questions then set current quiz indicator to some number which we already have number plus 1 and we need to define the types that is something we have to add so let's say i'm just saying n is of type number so this will increase the quiz indicator else let's say if this is not the case then what we have to do set let's do else if not instead of else else if uh, current quiz indicator is 9 then we have to set quiz and to true right and otherwise if there is nothing then return so we covered all the cases right here we are passing the quizzes either it's better we can also pass this is the current quiz we can simply pass this data inside a quiz property i mean it's weird if we pass half of the properties as a destructured okay earlier i was trying to pass it as a destructure let's try this what was the problem so we are passing the quiz object i mean we can also spread it but there is a weird warning so quiz is is an array and current quiz indicator is an index so we are passing this quiz as an object to the child component quiz card so now the major thing left in this whole app is building the quiz card component okay so we'll start with the quiz card and here we are going to have an interface i props and inside i props we have a quiz object which is of type uh, do we have any type defined for this because we have i think i quiz that can this that type we can use here i quiz type and rest all the arguments like there is a change quiz is of type function going to return void and then there is a current quiz and we can create this component this is a quiz card component 
this is going to take quiz as a props I props okay so here we are going to define couple of methods which we are going to get from the context Let's say this is the, the whole component, right? Now inside a quiz card, what all things we are going to show? Inside this quiz, we are getting quiz object. Let's call it as a data. So it's, we can avoid confusion. Data.quiz will be the current quiz object. Change quiz, when you click on the skip or next, change quiz. Current quiz is a number, like on which particular quiz we are. So here in the return, it's all about designing this division last names we are going to add. Okay, and inside this, here we are going to create this. This is the quiz card component. We have a question, we have four options and the skip button. Okay, so first of all, if we see the structure, here we have a correct answer and we have incorrect answers. First of all, to show all the options, we have to merge them into an array. One is already an array, another is an array. So we can spread this and concat this array. Okay, that we have to do to before showing all the options. So division, first of all, we are going to show the question okay so question will be inside p tag we can set the the questions and the question label so we can use i have used this dangerously set in our html uh, inside this we have a dynamic expression this is how we write it i mean it can be html content okay so this is my question quiz dot so we are getting data object right inside data I will have a quiz dot uh, this should be current quiz data dot current quiz data dot current quiz is a number This is data dot current quiz plus number. Okay. Could even to write underscore HTML. I think this is underscore underscore. And we are good here. And then with some space, we can set the quiz data dot quiz dot question. Data dot quiz dot question and if you are worried if data is null or something like that you can do this but we are only passing once we have fetched the data okay this is our question now we need to get all our options inside from the context we can get the one method update score we are getting update score is like whenever you are adding the correct answers we have to call the update score method passing the, the score okay so here we have to get the options const options and we can get the options by doing concat spread the data dot quiz dot correct answers incorrect answers dot data dot quiz dot correct answer this becomes an array again and these options we can use to iterate and list down all the options we have inside an array. So it can be a simple loop you can say options dot map. Here we are talking about the single quiz single quiz option. 
so we can set option and i which is of type number as an index and this is what it is going to return and we can simply call it as a button right this is obviously a button and inside button we will add some classes blah 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 and we can set dangerously set in an html again and option i mean inside a label we are trying to set uh, the value and when you do the on click on to this button something should change right when you on click on to this button we have to check if the uh, answer whatever you have selected is the correct one or not so there are two the first is a handle click there we have to check okay uh, you have submitted the response and start checking your answer and another is a now this is a p tag class name and inside this we have another div tag let's say and inside div tag we will have a button and that button will have a on click and that button is like okay skip and in that button we are going to call quiz dot change quiz sorry data dot quiz dot change quiz change quiz we are calling and here the label on this button is skip handle click this we have to define whenever you are clicking on to any of the button what action should happen so this is handle click inside handle click what we will do is first we are getting the event object right on which particular button you have clicked so here we will check first of all quiz uh, sorry data dot quiz dot update quiz data dot uh, data dot sorry uh, it should be update score data dot change quiz because you have selected one button and now it's on us if you wanted to update the score or not based on the value we already know so we got the event object dot target so this event object is also of type uh, i mean there is a, already a type event dot html event i think html okay for now let's say any i'm not able to recall that it's like event dot target dot text content we are trying to access if that is equal equal to data dot quiz dot correct answer if this is the case right if this is the case we are passing the boolean so update score is taking boolean parameter if this is the boolean it will update the score with plus five that's it so this is our simple uh, component okay here we can add some of the classes let's say the card component width is full okay when it is rounded from the medium screen and shadow also we can add shadow for the, the large screen uh, we can add some padding or margin this is our simple card component and this is the p tag question here also we can add some tailwind utilities class name md for the text should be to excel and same uh, here we have four buttons right so these buttons should be wrapped inside a div so we can create a outer div in outside this this should be a two column grid let's say so what all classes we need okay we need a class name options let's say first of all grid and here we can set grid columns two and we can also specify the gap 
which is 8, margin top 4. These are some of the well known classes. Okay, we want a two column grid, so four buttons will be aligned in two different columns, two boxes in one row. Okay, this is our simple component. And if you wanted to just add some more classes here, and then we will run this component and we will see what we are getting. Like uh, we can also set the heading, background. And these are the pre-built classes, background red, blue, orange and all. What should be the hover effect? On the hover, background should turn into red 500. The text which is available on the button is gray 200 and it is rounded button. I mean in the tailwind utilities it is a common thing. If you want to a hover effect, just put a hover. The background color is defined like this. What will be the text gray? What will be the, the color of the text which is showing? And it is a rounded button and padding vertically. And you can also specify width height. Let's say width is 40. Okay. Uh, now let's run this application. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much we have. I mean, I added a scorecard component also, but that is nothing much. This is the quiz card component we have added. All the components are ready. And when I run this, I mean, this is a live application I'm running. This is how my components looks like. Okay, we are missing the background colors, lot of things. The alignment is not proper. How can we fix it? Uh, let's see this. Uh, what all are not getting applied when we are inspecting this? First of all, background color. I think we are using custom color, which we have to define in the Tailwind config. This is container. Some comma is there. Okay, so this is our container and this is still fine and then we have a scorecard component, margin top, text large and then if we inspect these buttons, I think they are not getting the background. Okay, no class is getting applied to these buttons. So we have to add some buttons and for the skip button, we have to make it text align, I mean button align right, justify content end. Okay, so let's add all these things and we also need to add the background color. So let's go to our Tailwind config. We are using uh, light blue, right? So theme, we are extending, we can specify our colors inside an extend block because the same set of colors we can use. Color is this, dark, uh, dark overlay is this. These are the two colors we have added. And now those colors we might be using somewhere. Let's see this, dark overlay, Tailwind config. And in the overlay, we are using this. Overlay is a component. Once the quiz is over, we wanted to show overlay so that user can restart the, the quiz. And in the main page, we are using this. Uh, let's see in the container. I think we are using this BZ light blue. Okay, and for each and every button, we have to add some classes. So we'll go to the quiz card component. Inside quiz card, we have a couple of things to add a styling. So we have this button. I think the classes are added. We can add some classes here just to align this particular button to the right hand side. So this can be a flex. Flex uh, margin vertical is let's say three and justify end. In that case, it will go to the, the right hand side. And for each and every button we, ha we are having, we haven't added any classes. So class name. Here we can add all the other classes we need. We can add a heading. Text is small. Gray uh, background color gray is let's say 800. Text color should be 100. And this is rounded. And whenever you do the hover, then it should convert to BZ gray 600. There should be some hover effect. Okay. And whenever, if you also, you can also do the some transition. Whenever you do the hover, uh, the vertical should become 24. Okay. Let's see this now. If I reload this. Otherwise, we have to restart the app. I think some color starts getting applied.
oh okay this looks little better than what we were having earlier now we have the styles for the buttons this is justify and and all the buttons has a appropriate margin padding and there is a hover effect right so this is our demo we can skip this and once this is over i think we will get restart okay this is a simple quiz app we have done and when you click on to the restart we are reloading the whole app so what should happen when you click on to the restart on the overlay component so we'll go to our main page when you are going to do to re restart then we are resetting the state like set loaded false set end of the quiz false so we can start the app from the fresh and we are fetching the quiz again setting the quiz indicator to the zero so this is a simple quiz app but we have covered a lot of aspects in this right if we talk about what all things we have covered if we just try to document them we understood the context apis right we understood the hooks we understood how to define the typings for the components and basic concepts of the, the react we already know right and uh, how to add the tailwind classes utilities how to make your component smarter all those things we have covered in this demo uh, thanks everyone i will push this uh, code onto the github also